know, you've always been on the cricket field. You've been someone who's who's dashing. I was the person who made him run a lot a few years ago. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit about running and how important it is? Is it in cricket? Well, I suppose from from my perspective, um, I stood out as a, as a cricket player, definitely not as a batsman with a very average average. But what certainly, I suppose, made people stand up at notice was the agility that I had in the field and the yes. ability to go all day in the field. And, and I think that was important. That fitness levels then weren't even considered. You yeah. know, it's become it's become such a scientific process too. Uh, if you think about the apps and, and, and utilizing technology, but those days when you were chasing me around the field, it was pretty much there and back, there and back as fast Correct. as you could, and, yeah. and making sure that your fitness levels were maintained to a degree where you could play at the top level for all you know the entire the entire game. Whereas now it's become very specific with regards to, or very scientific even, if you're a batsman, a bowler, a wicket keeper even, you know, you've got a fitness trainer giving you those specific deals or, or, or jobs to do. Yeah. And, uh, and the greatest thing about running is that you can be anybody. And yeah. You can be any shape and size and you can just get a pair of shoes on and, uh, and do it. hit the road. Hit the so, road. Yeah. You know, uh, a, a couple of years ago, it's exactly like what he said. You know, our fitness was we put two cones 20 meters apart and we sprinted 10 times and did 20 sets after every single practice session. Uh, I can vouch for what his work ethic was like back then and, and I know how much hours you put in then but can you tell us what is John T's personal training regime like right now? <laughs> well right now it's about changing nappies at 3 o'clock in the morning <laughs> so yeah that's quite a difficult thing probably the toughest job I've ever had to do and fortunately <laughs> I'm kitted out for that very difficult task but it's you know for, for me it's also about mixing up sports and, and I grew up in South Africa with a lot of open space which yeah. you don't always get here in India which is why running is such a such a good option because you don't need a, a pair of cricket spikes or, or hockey, you know, hockey boots and a hockey stick. I think what I try and do is, is mix up as much as possible. So in India, I do visit the gym. I spend a lot of time on the field of practice. I have sort of four or five guys, not even five, maybe three or four guys at a time, which is quite high intensity. But uh, in South Africa, at home, I get a mountain bike, I've got a surfboard. Um, I do have a pair of running shoes which sit there and cry and look at me and want me to take them out on the road a bit more often. But I like being outdoors, you know, so it's not difficult to, to get me out. But I do like to mix it up. And I think that's, as a fielding coach in, in India, it's always a concern for me is that people, when you play cricket, it's just about running forwards and backwards. You know, yeah. football, badminton, um, you know, they're all those sort of games that I grew up playing hockey, yeah. soccer. They all allowed me to feel the way that I did, you know, because it's sideways movement and it's, it's giving you agility and explosive power. And, you know, soccer players, one behind here, will show again that yeah. it's not just about, sure, about running, running forward. Yeah. yeah, super. You know, John T was uh, the person who taught me that uh, all those hours of practice is about preparing for an opportunity you don't know you're going to get. And that was one secret and one tip that I learned from him. So, and I've, I've kept that with me all these years. <laughs> Fantastic. Pay me later. Sure of it. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Fellow running ambassador, Ed Puma. Uh, she's a marathon. She was one of the fastest women at the 2013 Mumbai Marathon. Uh, please join me in welcoming Lisa Hayden. Good. Welcome. Thank you. So, Thank you Lisa, we have been speaking about running, I think, for the last month on many, many stages we and many have. European platforms. So, we what have. can you tell us? You know, you've seen the property grow, you've seen running grow. This is something a little bit different. We launched uh, Ignite just a few weeks ago mm -hmm. and uh, we ran around the entire city. Now we're taking it to the corporates where it's a shorter version. It's a 5K run, four man team. We're trying to really tackle the corporate uh, culture. What are your thoughts on that? I think it's fantastic that we're encouraging corporates to run because um, there are a few corporates at Puma, like Nikhil over there, that I really think he should, he should definitely participate <laughs> in the Urban Stampede. But um, I think all of the running events that we've done so far have been really exciting because for me it's so wonderful to interact with the runners around the country. We had a run in Bombay, then we did a run in Delhi, and now we're launching this here. So, uh, I mean, running is my passion. I actually feel very intimidated on the stage full of wonderful and amazing athletes. <laughs> I just do this for fun. <laughs> but uh, but um, I think it's great that uh, we're getting people involved and getting to share that experience with them because when you're so passionate and you love something so much, it's just wonderful to interact with like-minded people that love and enjoy doing the same thing as you do. So um, let the corporates run. Let the corporates run, okay. <laughs> so with no further ado, gentlemen, I'm gonna invite my last guest on stage. He's the man who, together with Puma, conceptualized the entire Puma Urban Stampede. He is the CEO of Runners for Life. Uh, please help me welcome Arvin.
why don't you just share some thoughts? What was the what was the vision behind Puma Urban Stampede? You've grown a phenomenal property, and we're gonna see numbers like nothing else. So, what were you thinking? You you brought us all here. Share us your thoughts. I think you got that. You know what was I thinking? So <laughs> the, the idea was, you know. Five kilometers seems like a lot to a lot of people, right? You're thinking about it's the distance between where you live and that place, which is five kilometers away. I always take a bus or a car or an auto to go there. But we wanted to tell everybody that five kilometers is within, well, everybody's reach. And when you run your first five kilometers, then you're on a ladder you can't stop being on. And we wanted to make sure that lots of people have the thrill of doing that five kilometers and enjoying that. And I'm really happy that everybody is here because we're all aligned on this one. And we want running and fitness to be within everybody's reach. And running is, running first 5K is phenomenal. I know when I did it, when I got back to running after years of not doing it, running my first mile, which is 1,600 meters, felt like I just won the Nobel Prize or something. So that was, that's how it started. Absolutely fantastic. So are you going to take us through, you've got us here, you've got some sporting icons, you've got some CEOs, you've, I believe you've designed a bit of a race, I believe you have a t-shirt to launch. You want to just run us through uh, what you're going to be doing today? Yeah, I think the first thing that we have to do is really, we've got, one of the reasons why all of us are here is because there's a, there's a, the new look of the year is here. So can we, if we can have the t-shirts up and if we can give it to every one of them, we'll take the mics away for a moment. Thank you very much, yeah. Fantastic. No, five kilometers in you've there. Got to, you've got to earn these. <laughs> Come on. Fantastic. Yeah. So, now we go to the part that I really like, okay? Um, we put a relay race for all of you guys, right? So the idea is not to run five kilometers because I don't know how many of you have got 25 minutes to wait or 30 minutes in my case, right? Now, uh, we've got teams and the teams are as follows. I'd like people to stand with their teams. It's Abhishek and Sandesh are one team. Uh, Sharmila and Shamala one team. This side. <laughs> and um, Jonti and Amitha one team. Lisa, you're gonna you're not running for reasons <laughs> of your own. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be the person that moderates the race. Fantastic. Perfect. We so all need a race director. I'm gonna supervise. Yeah, perfect. She's she's <laughs> so uh, her judgment is final, right? I'm gonna supervise the athlete. Yeah. So um, the race is a hundred meter relay. I mean it's a two into hundred. Which team do you think is gonna win? Oh, okay, hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Shamal and, um, and our lady, our girl power over here. Our girl power in pink. <laughs> she's, got, she's got the longest legs. <laughs> How many of you think that Shamal and Sharmila are going to win this race? Oh, okay, you have some votaries among all the runners. I don't know, Come I'm on. not so sure about that. Sandesh all my, runs... All my Running influences, come on. Back yeah, here. and then there's Jonti and Amit. And you know, how many people think Jonti and Amit are going to win? There's a press, put your hands up. All oh, right. okay, okay. <laughs> Abhishek and Sandesh, how many of them are think, how many of them are on their side? Oh, we have some boats. Excellent, Abhishek. wonderful. They're wonderful. for the food. <laughs> wonderful. So, Mavash, if you're there, and if you can take that point, so my request is, Abhishek, Sharmila and Jonti, if you can come with me over there to the race start. And Sandesh, um, uh, Sandesh, Amit and Shamal, you guys have to go to that side. Fantastic. Right? Hey, on your marks, get set, run! By a hair's breadth and then some, um, Shamal and Sharmila. That's what we have time for over here. Thank you so much for all of you coming here. I hope all of you enjoyed yourself. The idea is to have a blast and to run as swiftly as you can. 
Okay, thank you all for being here, all of you on stage. Thanks. Yeah? Something about this event, uh, about the Puma and your association with this brand. My association with Puma started many years before, uh, you know, track my run or the urban stampede. I used to love running when I was a kid. In fact, this Priyadarshini Park is where I first started to run. And um, it actually is very sentimental to be launching uh, the 2015 calendar of the urban stampede here in this park where I first started running. And um, my association with Puma started early because I loved Puma colors, I loved their clothes, I loved their shoes when I was a kid because they were fun and they were exciting. And then as I got a bit older and I started taking running more seriously, I realized that Picking the right shoe is as crucial as being passionate about running. In fact, it facilitates and fuels your run. So I started using the Puma Mobium shoe, after which now they've come out with Ignite, and um, I've swapped over to the Ignite shoe. So uh, I love running for Puma, it's my passion, and um, I just it's, it's a very privileged thing to be able to endorse a brand that you genuinely believe in. Um, I, I'll do as many as my schedule permits, and, uh, and obviously I love running. They, we just did a run, Ignite Your City Run in Delhi, um, and I participated, that was a nine kilometer run. So wherever I can run, I will run, because the most exciting thing for me of being a Puma runner is the fact that I get to interact with other runners. You know, we have these, you get to interact with so many different people from all over the country that are passionate about the same thing that you're passionate about. And, um, and, and that for me is the joy. Thank you. Thank you very much.